This is the Synodionis Catfish Identification. I will leave links in the description below on where I got the information. All of Synodontis species come from the continent of Africa, mainly from these three lakes. The genus for Synodontis has so many different species, but I will go over the most popular ones. First, let's go over the Synodontis petrocola. The Synodontis petrocola can get up to 5 inches in length and are very slender. However, there is another species that looks almost exactly like the petrocola. This is the Synodontis lucipenis. As you can see, it looks almost exactly like the Synodontis petrocola. One major difference between the Synodontis petrocola and lucipenis are the spots. The left is the lucipenis and the right is the petrocola. As you can see, the lucipenis spots are less circular than the petrocola and are not as well aligned. Another difference is that if you look at the side behind the head of the fish, you'll see a bone called the humeral process. The red lines indicate where the humeral process is. And this blue circle indicates the hole, which is the axillary pore. Other species may also have axillary pores, but Lucipenis is a species that does not have one. The Lucipenis are more common in the pet hobbies and they don't get as long. They are less slender and they only get about 4 inches. Can you tell the difference between Petrocola and Lucipenis? This is the Synodontis eupteris. This is a large species and are also very popular in the hobby. The common name is Featherfin. They can grow up to 12 inches in length. They are called feather fin because they have long, feathery looking fins. Some may have longer fins than others though. This is the Synodontus multipunctatus. But there is another species of catfish that looks almost exactly like the multipunctatus. It is the Synodontus grandiops. The major difference between the Synodontus grandiops and the multipunctatus is the size of its eye. The top is the multipunctatus and the bottom is the grandiops. You need to measure the eye from the snout. As you can see, the Synodontus multipunctatus has a much smaller eye than the grandiops. Another difference is that the multipunctatus has 8 rays on its pectoral fins, but the grandiops has 7. Multipunctatus are also larger than the grandiops. The molten Putetus can grow about 8 inches long, and the Grandiops maxes out at 4 inches. The Grandiops also does the cuckoo method, like the molten Putetus. Can you tell the difference between molten Putetus and the Grandiops? This is the Synodontus poly white. Poly whites have much larger spots and are much bulkier. They can grow up to 5 inches in length. Here is the Synodontus angelicus. You can see it's colored in a much different way with black body and white spots. This species can grow pretty large at about 10 inches. Here is the Synodontus granulosus. Granulosus has little to no spots on its body and have very bright white colored fins. This is another large species that grows up to 10 inches. There can also be different variations like this albino petrocola and synodontis hybrids are possible. So in my opinion, synodontis catfish are very cool and interesting. I hope you enjoyed this video about synodontis species and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.